Hi, everybody. So this is sort of a skipped over thing. So last Wednesday, you saw me finishing up putting on this bar, right? So uh, then I skipped over and showed you the video with my uh, buddy Brett that came in. So in this video, we're picking up after the bar, obviously. Uh, reattaching this, and that's all good. And then we're going to get into some wiring. So uh, I've uh, gotten the both the audio panel and my first radio in and uh, going to be doing some wiring. Very exciting. Mostly because it scares the crap out of me. And even though I'm getting good at making the wires, it doesn't necessarily uh, guarantee that I'm not going to uh, have the whole thing melt. <laughs> okay, so there's one of the radios. That's a Garmin G GT200. Yeah, GT200. So there's a GTR200, but that's the remote version of it, right? Because uh, you don't actually have to have it up on the panel like all the other normal aircraft do. Uh, the G3X system can do uh, remote radios. It does remote transponder. It, hell, it does remote everything. I've seen people's panels that have nothing but a G3X display and their WAS radio in the middle. That's it. No radios, no audio panel, nothing. Oh wait, that's not true. There was also a backup, uh, backup G5. And look, there's there's nothing wrong with remote, right? Makes a nice clean panel. I just feel more comfortable having like a tactile radio, tactile audio panel, just in case my wiring from my big displays peters out on me, or the displays themselves peter out on me. So yeah, that's just you know, it's personal choice. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and wire, and notice I'm making liberal use of my wire, uh, my label maker. Very important. I'm going to rant about that later. Not today, but later on in the build. Today I've got some different kind of rants, so let's go through some small people suck things that I've noticed. To people who, although don't seem to be able to make any decisions and probably couldn't pronounce the alphabet in completion if you asked them to do it, Yet they are able to magically get in your way. I'll explain in a second. F*** you. Right? You go to the store, and this nice lady leaves the store, and she's got a cart. And instead of just going across to the aisle where her car is parked, uh, she dis or, you know, g going to the side of that road in front of the store so that you can get around her. These people somehow magically, through... It's as if they have a PhD in getting in your way will just meander back and forth, right? Like they're drunk. Yet somehow always magically being in the worst possible position for you to get around them. And I see that every day. And you do too. You know the ones I'm talking about. Uh, to my neighbors, who are also in an apartment B, who are keeping all of the stuff that, of my stuff that accidentally gets delivered to their apartment, uh, fuck you, I'm gonna have you deported. Alright. Look, UPS takes pictures of their deliveries. It's your apartment door. It says B. It's right there. Okay? There's the bird that you haven't cleaned off your door in two years. It's in the picture. Right? Give me my stuff. And I'll just ignore the rotating cadre of stolen bicycles I see on your patio of crap that you keep outside. Scumbags. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, one more. So, uh, to angry, aggressive jogging moms with your strollers. Right? Uh, f*** you. I pull up to the corner. This woman's been standing there for a minute. And isn't doing anything, right? She's just checking her phone. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to turn right because she's not going to be crossing the street. So, of course, she takes that exact moment when she goes, oh, I want to cross now. So I get the... She has a whistle, first of all. She blows a whistle at me, gives me the stop hands, and starts screaming stop. Right? Um, so angry. It's like, wow, I guess you've beaten down your husband long to uh, long enough you guys got to go out what you've already squeezed all the pain out of him that you can get you got to go out and try to torture other people I'm not saying she's evil I'm just saying check the back of that child's head for three sixes 
I'm mean, I'm, and I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere about uh, about her husband's uh, balls in a jar of his own tears by the side of the bed. All right, so next week we're gonna just look. We're gonna be doing wiring for a while. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys, and uh, see you soon.